Now, most of us don't do that because of emotional reasons within ourselves. So making, making threats as parents is a very damaging thing to do for a start, and usually based on some very unhealed emotions within ourselves. But making a threat and not carrying it through <laughs> is even more damaging, because it teaches them that uh, you, you have actually, you don't mean anything that you say. And this is why the majority of parents find it very difficult t talking to their children, because most of the time the children already know that you don't mean anything you're saying. They know they can get away with it anyway. But how many of you have asked your children to pick up after themselves in the house? Right? How many of you have children that do that every single time without being asked again? Right? Not many people? Okay, a few do. But can you see, there must be a reason why. And you know what the reason why is? They think you're not serious. It's quite simple. Right? The deeper reason is that they don't have enough self-love to do it. Do you follow me? Because if you love yourself, you will always care for your environment. So the deeper reason inside of them is they don't have enough self-love to actually care for their environment. But where do you think they got their lack of self-love from? Mm -hmm. right? So there's something that that's telling me straight away. I haven't given my child that's enough self-love for them to actually tidy up after their environment. And you see this happen a lot, right? When a child is militantly brought up to care for its environment, so its room is pristine, you know, they're given a clip over the year when, when it's not pristine, and they learn the pain associated with it not being pristine, so they keep it pristine. The instant they leave home and they get their own flat, how tidy is their flat? It's usually a total mess and a total big sign. And the reason why is because they haven't learned the reason why, in here, the emotional reason why keeping your environment is good, uh, keeping your environment clean is good. They haven't learned the emotional reason that actually there is a connection with God that grows due to cleanliness. You know, God always has things that clean up environments. God doesn't create anything but pristine environments, right? And if we want to be one with God, we're going to have to learn to do the same at some point. Now, now they haven't learned that, obviously. So who taught them that? Me. I taught them that. And so can you see how every single thing that we're teaching our child is just a message about God in the end and also their relationship with themselves? Can you see that? 